This is David Wright. He's a scholar, a gentleman, and a good all-round boy. He is also the lead head of house at Brentwood School, and as the first big house event of the year approaches, house music, he feels on top of the world. However, David is harbouring a deep, dark, burning passion. It's a long-held passion, an anger, an obsession, some might say. And this year, he's going to do something about it. Password? Virtue, learning, manners. Enter. I have called you all here today to discuss house music. It's time we took over. House music, house. The first word, the most important word. We don't need the music department anyway. What do they do? Just wave their hands around in the air, looking all important. I stay with you here today. Now is our time. Who's with me? Good. We! What about Cooper? You leave Florian Cooper to me. You see, Media Department, S Cup 7 Reach is one of the greatest works of art of the 20th century, and we need to include it in the A-level scheme of work. David. Florian. Dave? Flo. Can we up? It's been decided by the house team that we're going to take back what is rightfully ours. House music. For too long you've clung on to what is a house event, so we will no longer sit quietly in the shadows watching. Okay. Well, you can have it. Yeah? <laughs> Good luck. Really? I think you could probably manage. Of course we can manage. Just singing Spice Girl songs. I've been doing that my whole life. We don't need you. Okay, fair enough. Good luck. Right, as you've probably heard, house music is now being run properly by highly trained house staff. The days of the music prima donnas is over. Any questions? Are you sure we can do this in two weeks with no music teachers? Of course we can do it! Where are all the music teachers anyway? Well... This is certainly the most relaxed September I've ever had. I could get used to house music every year. I wonder how things are going back at HQ. I think we can well imagine. Is it meant to be on fire? I don't think so. It's not even plugged in. So if I can see this now, so can you! This is stuff nightmares are made of! I got an email from Joanna this morning. I think they've lost all confidence in me. They're refusing to rehearse. They're refusing to perform. This could be the end of East House. 
Worst of all, this could be the end of house music. <laughs> Do you know what, Jem? I never thought I'd say this. Not in a million years. I almost feel physically sick thinking about it. But I'm going to say it anyway. I miss Cooper. Me too, miss. Me too. What are you doing? Come on, sing. Sing louder. I don't get it. You sing much better than this. This is terrible. This is the worst house music I've ever seen. And it's your fault. All of you. Mr. Wright, I don't want to go to Brentwood School anymore. You have taken something beautiful and killed it. You have ruined my hopes, my dreams, my very existence. Come in. Ah, oh, David, my good man, do take a seat. Uh, what's that, David? This is my letter of resignation. I've become mad with power and I've absolutely ruined house music. I don't think I should be the lead head of house at Brentwood anymore. David, David, David. House music is an event loved by the children, by the six formers who get to lead their peers in front of hundreds of people, by the little fresh-faced year sevens in their enormous blazers, new to the school and eager to please the parents. Have you taken that pure, happy light and extinguished it? Yes, yes you have. But David, House music is a poison chalice. It changes us all. Many who have gone before you have been defeated by it. But David, why do we fall? So we can learn to pick ourselves up? Exactly. Now put that letter away, take this, and get your team back together. So, we push this and everything will be fixed, yeah? Yeah. Look, I'm sorry. I let you all down. I let myself down. But most of all, you let the children down. Alright, McCann. Thanks. The issue is, if we press this, he's going to be unbearably smug. He's always unbearably smug. That's true. Let's get it over with. David. Florian. Dave. Flo. Guys, did you miss me? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to House Music 2021. you here especially after the year we've all had and yeah so welcome to house music <laughs> round of applause, round of applause. firstly before the evening begins we're going to invite mr cooper our head of how uh, head of music director to come to the stage say a few words round mr. of applause cooper. for mr cooper Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is such a pleasure and a thrill to be back performing some music with an audience in front of us. Um, it has been a very tough 18 months and a huge welcome to all the new Year 7 parents. And, and I hope this is the first of many, many musical events you will attend uh, in your time at Brentwood School as Brentwood School parents. Um, thank you also for, for abiding by our one um, ticket policy and, and for wearing face masks in this evening's performance. We hope that by doing this we're able to put on more and more concerts, plays and events over the next term and beyond. Um, so tonight's uh, uh, event is a competition. You should have a scorecard available and a programme to you on your phones or tablets. It should have been sent out and you can score along and make sure you agree or disagree with our adjudicator's marks. Um, that's very much up to you. There are three sections tonight. 
The first is a part song, an unaccompanied four-part song. We then move on to an ensemble where our instrumentalists within the house perform as an, a musical ensemble. And then our unison section where we have so much fun. We have a huge party with every year seven singing their hearts out. So lots to look forward to, lots to enjoy. Uh, and it must be said, it must be emphasized that everything you hear tonight has been rehearsed, arranged, organized entirely by our upper sixth students, and they've done that in only 10 school days, which I think is utterly remarkable. Uh, well, thank you. Okay, we are extremely, um, extremely privileged tonight to have a wonderful adjudicator. And last year, we became a partner with the Guildhall School of Music and Drama, one of the best and most internationally renowned conservatoires. Uh, and I had the very great pleasure of meeting and working with Rosie closely over the last year. And she is one of the most passionate people I've ever met when it comes to music education. She's a formidable musician herself, a former director of music of Whitgift School, and now the head of music at the Junior Guildhall. We are very, very grateful for you, Rosie, and we look forward to your adjudication. Rosie Whitfield. Done it. You've given me a microphone, and, and, and we've got to keep things moving tonight, Florian. Um, thank you, girls, for that wonderful introduction, and thank you, Florian, for that lovely introduction as well. Um, thank you so much. I would just like to say, whoever devised that wonderful dramatic dialogue needs to be congratulated. It was fantastic. Put your hands together for the writer. And wonderful to see the whole music department and other members of the staff and the headmaster, Michael, involved in that. Fantastic. I am here to enjoy myself and I have missed live music and that wonderful electric atmosphere. Um, that is just so natural when young musicians are performing together. So, can I ask you not to hold back with your tumultuous applause? Enjoy it. This is an extraordinary school with an extraordinary music department. And this is going to be an extraordinary evening of music. Thank you so much. So, first up this evening, we have Part Song, which is where one song has been chosen by the music department, which this year is Louis Armstrong, What a Wonderful World. So first up is Willed House, directed by Sarah Pryor. Everyone give a round of applause and enjoy Ooh. the music. Enjoy the evening.
What a brilliant start to the evening. Thank you so much, Will, and especially Sarah Pryor. Next up, we have South House, directed by Rosie Parrish. Give it up for South House, everyone. <laughs> the lovely Rosie Parrish. Next up we have, next up we have um, North House, directed by Cameron Davies. So enjoy everyone, good luck. Trees of dreams, my trousers too, I wish they too. 
you very much, South House. So next up we have East House, directed by Charles Bowie Britton. Can we have a round of applause for East House? Thank you so much, East House. Now we have Schoolhouse, uh, directed by Juliana Wu Yang and Joshua Wong. Give a round of applause.
Thank you very much to Schoolhouse, that was wonderful. Now finally, last but definitely not least, we have West House, which... <laughs> which is directed by Julianne Panwani and Nicole Fergus. Another round of applause, please. Thank you. your own scores and we'll get set up for the ensemble in the meantime. Hope you enjoyed that first section.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready for the first set of adjudications. If students could take their seats, please. And I'll hand you over to Rosie. Thank you very much, Florian. And what an absolute pleasure that was. I felt that every single house had something very special and unique about their own ensemble. So really, really well done to all those that took part. Um, so we start with Wheeled House, um, which was directed by the lovely Sarah Pryor. Um, I absolutely loved this. And Martha, where are you, Martha? Put your hand up if you're here, darling. Martha. I can't see. I know she's here somewhere. Martha, to open a concert and sing a solo of that magnitude is really something else because you were the first choir to sing and you had the big solo. So let's just give a huge clap for Martha, please, for opening the concert. Well done, Martha. Quick a bow. It was absolutely stunning, beautiful, sweet singing tone, Martha. And your accompanying voices here were really sensitive and the harmonies were full. Um, I thought it was wonderful the way you all breathed together. So important. Um, don't be afraid. You can do even more movement a little bit more if you would like to. It did not detract. It was wonderful. Loved the swaying. Um, so thank you very much. Then we went on to South House, which was directed by Rosie Parrish. <laughs> Rosie, I'm going to say it, girl power. Uh, I love that splash of red. That really was very effective. And it's visual. It matters. Um, gorgeous. Well done. Um, Ellie, beautiful solo. And so very, very well projected. Lovely colours to your, your voice, your tonal quality. Again, fabulous harmony supporting the group. Really enjoyed the contrast that you had there. And there was some fantastic, super coordinated movement, which we all love. So well done, South House. Then we moved on to North House, and this was directed by Cameron Davis. Cameron. Cameron. I loved your funky version, Cameron. You took us up a gear. Um, you took us up with this amazing tempo, and it worked. Well done, you, because guess what? Exploration is half the battle, and you explored, and it worked brilliant. Um, I loved it. I thought there were some great tonal colors here, um, and I love the fact that about three quarters of the way through, I heard a hint of plain song, um, which was really effective. Loved that, so thank you very, very much for that. Really super. And then we moved on to East House, directed by Charles Bowie Britton. Um, <laughs> Charles, super. Again, a lovely, another splash of blue. This really is really effective. It's lovely that you're thinking about this. Um, so much happening in this piece. And one of the things that stood out, which is so important, is they were happy. I could see smiles. The whole group had a wonderful spirit um, and really warmth of tone to match. So well done. Fantastic. And then we moved on to school. Now, I understand school is the boarding school. And so, therefore, they have an even more of a challenge because not so many people in this house. So they did remarkably, remarkably well. Um, this was so sensitive. Um, particularly impressed with the upper vocals at the start. They were so evenly matched. Um, it, was, it was like, I thought, gosh, this is, there's a little bit of wow factor going on here with those girls. It was super. And then the chaps found their strength to, towards the end. They found the mojo. Um, and that was really lovely in support, chap. Really super. So very, very well done to school. And then we went on, last but not least, West House, directed by Julianne Pumwani. Uh, <laughs> I should be on the stage for this because I like to see all the kids. Uh, love the spirit of this rendition. 
Um, and so many of the group were allowed to take centre stage and shine. That was very special for me. Um, and I thought, you know, they, they managed that melodic line really so well. Again, we had a beautiful splash of blue, a different tone of blue, but it was amazing. Thank you very much for adding that, girls. Um, to hear that whole range of vocals and feel the spirit here was, was really very special. So thank you, West House. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, although there are many more to come tonight. Um, and in sixth position, we have School, with 36 points. In fifth position, we have Wield, with 37 points. We have a joint winners for third position, North and East, with 38. <laughs> In second place, we have, with 39 marks, w -w 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 Wes! <laughs> and the winners this evening of the part song are South with 40 points. Okay, fantastic. Well done, South. Well done, everyone. I'm going to hand you now back over to our wonderful student compares. Aren't they doing well, Abby and Annabelle? Let's have a round of applause for them. As we move now into the ensemble part of our competition, uh, over to you girls. Enjoy. Thank you very much, Mr. Cooper. Okay, well, thank you very much, Rosie, for that. And congratulations to all the houses. You all did a great job. Um, so next up is Ensemble, which is the orchestral section of the competition. The students themselves have arranged, rehearsed, and conducted the music themselves, and they also chose the theme. So first up, we have North House, with music from How to Train Your Dragon, arranged by Cameron Davies. And I would like to introduce on stage their conductor, Tane Sonwane. Round of applause for North House, everyone.
So that was North House. Well done. Very excellent. Next up, we have um, Wild House with their musicals medley. And this is conducted and arranged by Sam Lee, who I'd now like to bring up as well.
Thank you very much, Will. That was great. Now, before we get into our next house, we would just like to both say a massive hello to the people watching at home. We really appreciate you guys tuning in. It means a lot to all of us. And we're really sad you can't be here with us tonight. And everyone in Brentwood School, to show our thanks, why don't we give a big round of applause for everyone watching at home. Come on, guys. <laughs> I think, I think we could do a bit more justice and maybe a bit more cheering next time. I agree. Everyone Let's around try applause. Again. Come on, one more time for the people watching at home. Woo! Okay, I think, I think it's good enough just for now. Yeah, I think, I think we'll have to have a practice again later, especially before unison. Okay, well, I think we're about ready. So, let's give it up for Schoolhouse. They'll be performing music from... <laughs> They'll be performing music from Here Comes the Sun. And I would like to introduce Aaron Sedrakian, who is not only the, um, not only the conductor, but also who arranged this piece. So, another big round of applause. Thank you.
Well done, Schoolhouse. By far my favourite Beatles song. Oh, definitely. Yeah, what a great song. What a great song choice. So, well, me and Belle know how much we're both enjoying the night, like I'm sure you all are, but we were curious how our wonderful headmaster, Mr. Bond, was enjoying their night. Everyone give it up for Mr. Bond. So, Mr. Bond, how are you finding this evening so far? I think it's fantastic. Uh, Mrs. Bond will tell you there's very uh, few occasions in life where I'm lost for words, but I'm uh, almost lost for words tonight. And I think uh, everyone has done a fantastic job in only, what, 10 school days? I know. How impressive. Well done, everyone. Yeah, well done. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing who's going to come out on top. Yeah, well done. Yeah, definitely. Hopefully no favourites, though. <laughs> Um, so now is South House playing the Lion King medley and it's conducted by Keris Jenkins and arranged by Ar Alex Lockyer. So if they want to come to stage now, big round of applause everyone. <laughs>
amazing medley that was. Big how, um, well done, that was amazing. Um, now we have our head boy, Ethan, and I wanted to ask him a few questions as it is his first year of being head boy. So Ethan, how are you feeling tonight? I'm very good, thank you. I've been very um, enthralled by all the acts going on so far. And what house are you? I'm North House. Are you excited? <laughs> and what part are you in in this um, competition? I'll be taking part in the unison, so watch out for me at the back with some of the fellow upper sick formers. I've been told by Jem Oscoch, though, that West House's unison will be the best, so watch out for that as well. Head boy, no. No cheering, no bias this evening, especially not from the head boy, okay? Not good enough. Anyway, thanks, Ethan. You can go sit down. I kind of forced him to do that. I don't really think he wanted to be up here. Well, thanks very much for that, Belle. And yeah, I hope there's no bias here, especially from you. Not allowed, no, not allowed. So next I'd like to introduce East House, which will be performing That's All Folks, arranged by Joanna Burgess and Eleanor Whiskard. And I'd like to welcome onto stage our conductor, Joanna Burgess. Round of applause, everyone.
thank you to Joanna, Eleanor, and the whole of East House. That was just great. Well done, guys. Now, um, we wanted to take this opportunity to really get to know some of the students at Brentwood School, because I feel like all we've done is look at them and listen to them, but we haven't spoken to them. So, Abby, you go over there, I'll go over here, and let's find someone to interview, why don't we? Great idea, Belle. Well, seeing what house we have up, I'm thinking that I want to speak to the head of West House. Where's Jem? Jem, come on over here. So, Jem, how are you doing tonight? I'm very well, thank you. Sounds like you've got the whole of your house behind you. So, how are you feeling about your house? Are you confident? Of course I am. I mean, everyone's put in the hours to all the rehearsals, and then I think everyone's really showing off tonight. Great, great to hear. And what are you most looking forward to of your house? Uh, the ensemble, the unison, the part song? Yeah, I think, I think winning is going to be a big part of tonight. Wow, very... Very confident words. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Well, thanks very much, Jem, and I'll hand it over to Annabelle. Now, I've got a group of first-year girls with me. What house are you? South! And how are you enjoying your first ever house music? Do you think you have it in you to win? Yeah. Well, I'm expecting big, big things. Okay, guys, I'll hold you to that. That was great. That was really nice to hear from everyone. Now, um, I'll hand it over to Annabelle to introduce our last and final ensemble. So this is now West House. They're doing the Queen Medley. And it's conducted by Rachel Tessie and it's arranged by both Rachel Tessie and James Turner. So I'd like to bring them to the stage. And good luck, West. Big round of applause. <laughs>
Imagine there's a huge amount for us to think about in a very short amount of time. If anyone does need a, a quick comfort break, now is probably the time. We will adjudicate in approximately four to five minutes.
Ladies and gentlemen, can we start taking our seats, boys and girls, as well? Okay. Welcome back. Close. Okay, so West House are ready on stage, but before that, of course, we have our all important adjudication from our ensemble section. And from me, a very, very well done to everyone who performed. Absolutely incredible. Rosie, over to you. Thank you so much, Florian. Well, what an evening this is turning out to be. I have to tell you, there was a moment where I actually shed a tear. 
I actually shed a tear. Now that's saying, saying something. Um, they, I cannot believe that they have done this in 10 days, well, 10 working days. And not only that, but some amazing conducting skills from, you know, from young people. And to arrange that music, it's honestly, it's, this is quite sensational. It really is fantastic. I, I wanted to start by, by just saying briefly, not to individuals, but to all the ensembles, the bigger the ensemble, the more tricky it gets with things like balance, tuning, we call it intonation, that's the posh word for it. But basically, it gets harder the more people you've got on stage. Um, we've got an amazing sound team back there, and I must say, they've been fantastic tonight. But to the kids, never be afraid of taking your time to tune up your instrument. The audience love it. It's interesting for them. They look and they think, that's how you tune a cello. <laughs> so take your time to tune up. Don't be nervous about it. Play your, play your note that you're using to tune, usually an A. Play it out so you can hear if it's in tune. Please take that top Mrs. Whitfield tip on board. Um, and you, you all did absolutely spectacularly. So I've been told I've not to ramble on. I've actually been given orders, which I'm not following. Not <laughs> um, so we started with North, um, conducted by Tane Sonawane. Have I pronounced that? <laughs> lovely, lovely. So Tane, really well done for you. This was quite a complex little arrangement, you clever thing. Um, you did so well with managing this. I can't see where you are, Tane. Where are you? You're over there. Well done, darling. Also, I never miss a trick, Tane. And I noticed that little splash of yellow coordinated with the lovely lady in the yellow gown. You've tied in the thread. Well done. Liked it a lot. Um, this was really super. And... What I loved was when you started, we, we heard these amazing triumphant trumpets. Um, and I think I was looking at and I saw Ore and Danny on trumpet. Really, really spectacular. You, you captured a really fantastic fanfare sound there. I loved the versatility of the, of, of the flutes as well, um, playing percussion at the end. So all in all, that was great. Thank you very much indeed. And then we moved on to Weald, their musical medley. Um, conducted by Sam Lee. Well done, Sam. Really, really good. And you know, you took the time at the start to tune up. You just took that extra few seconds just to get that pitching right. Um, and, and that really made a difference. A really good balance. Um, and I loved it when the violin introduced at the start there. So, some really sensitive violin playing. I said it was wicked. Get, get the joke? Oh, right, okay. Parents will, if you've been to the show. Um, Annabelle on oboe. Annabelle, really tricky to play oboe um, in a big group like this. You did beautifully. You've got a gorgeous tone. Um, I really love the drumming. Drumming is key in this sort of ensemble. It drives it forward. And this was really super Lucas. Um, I, I really enjoyed it when, you, when we got to hear the people sing. It was really effective. And I thought the ending was a real triumph. Thank you very much. And then we went on to school um, with Here Comes the Sun, arranged by Aaron and led from the drums by Aaron, and boy, did he lead it! <laughs> loved, loved the, the clarinet, um, the clarinet opened that beautiful solo, really sweet tone. Um, Adrian, don't be afraid to project. You make a gorgeous sound, darling. Sing it out, sing it out. Really super. Excellent intonation between the violins here, especially when they're playing in unison. 
Again, I've gone on and on about Aaron's drumming because he just drove it forward and he was sensitive when he needed to be. And of course, Fedor on bass. A really good combo with Fedor and Aaron. That really kicked it along. Um, so thank you very, very much, school. <laughs> And then we went on to South, um, conducted by Keris Jenkins. Um, well done, Keris. And the Lion King melody arranged by Alice Lockyer. Alex Lockyer, sorry. These, these really are spectacular arrangements. Um, and Jack opened on trumpet. Well done, Jack. Really super sound here and very well projected. And then we had Ellie on clarinet, which I thought was, you know, uh, this was a, another beautiful clarinet sound. I really enjoyed the, um, whatever, I can't, I can't read my own writing. I really enjoyed heat, bit, cool, triumphant, kick drum. Yes. <laughs> I enjoyed the pulse running through, the kick drum was, was beating through. I loved that addition to the arrangement. It was up tempo, and then I loved I Just Can't Wait to Be King. That gave it a little bit of extra funk. This really was very super. And then, of course, we got to some beautiful cello playing. Um, Alex on the cello and Alexander on, on violin. So, really, thank you very much indeed. Yeah, don't be afraid to clap. <laughs> And now we are on to East, and this was conducted by Joanna Burgess. The arrangement, that's all folks, was uh, a combination of Joanna Burgess and Eleanor Whiskard, I do believe. This was special. Joanna, I have to say, you're a conductor in the making, darling. Really, you... You had them in the palm of your hand, and you did that because you were very clear with your beat, but also you waited and you got eye contact with the whole ensemble. And that's fantastic. It really is. Um, A really fantastic arrangement. The transitions between the different numbers were really clear and precise. Um, and I loved that transition into the Pink Panther, which was so well managed by Tom on drums. There was a super. And then we had Savannah and Chloe, who took some great trumpet playing on there. And it really funked along. It was super. This was really polished. And it, re it really was, it had the wow factor. So very well, in, very well done indeed. And then we finished with West. Um, now this was conducted by the lovely Rachel Tessie. And this Queen medley arrangement was written by Rachel and James Turner. Is it James? James Turner, well done. Really fantastic. I, 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 I wrote one word in capital letters, and that word is slick. This was slick. And it was down to, a lot, the fabulous, uh, the, the sort of psychic connection between the great drumming and the guitar playing. Um, it really locked, rocked along. Then we have this beautiful opening sax solo. Um, Tom, just some really fantastic guitar playing. Really, really, dare I say it again? Wicked. <laughs> Wicked. Wicked. Um, Um, I'm trying to mention as many as many um, musicians as I possibly can, 
because they really all deserve a hats off. But there was a super transition from Louis on the tenor sax, um, and, and this really, this was lovely playing, really special playing. This was a tight ensemble. It was very tricky because there were lots of changes in pulse and rhythm. It was a great arrangement. Um, and it, it really, it really worked. And not to forget those tambourining, lovely ladies. And their smiling faces makes a difference. Brilliant. And now to the moment you've all been waiting for. So, without further ado, before I get lynched, um, we have a joint fifth pit position between school and north with 36 points. <laughs> and in fourth place, put your hands together for south with 37 points. In third place, we have Wield with 38 points. There was only one point in it. In second place, we have East with 39 points. And the winner of this ensemble competition with 40 points is Wes! Okay, fabulous. We've reached the unison song and our year sevens have done marvellously to wait for so long for their moment to shine, but it will come now. Girls, would you introduce this for us? Now moving on to our final part of the evening, Unison, we would like us all to put a really big loud applause for this one and welcome West, who are already on stage, singing Living on a Prayer, directed by our Alexandra Hack and Heather Trevelyan. A massive round of applause for this one, guys. Woo!
Thank, oh. Thank you so much, Wes. Audience, I need to see a bit more dancing from you. You can get up, you can get a bit of a boogie on if you want to, okay? Now, just before the next house comes on, we wanted to have a bit of a competition. We wanted to see who the loudest house could be. So firstly, should we see how much noise West House can make? West House, scream if you want to win. Good job, guys. Pretty good job. Now, let's hear how badly South House wanted to win. Come on, guys, make some noise. Still going. That was pretty good. I'm not sure. I feel like someone surely has to be a bit louder. Should we hear maybe North? North, if you want to win, raise the roof. <laughs> drums there but let's have a go at hearing from Wheeled House. How bad did you want to win? Okay. Well maybe they don't make up in volume, they definitely make up in length, oh my god. But no, and last but not least, maybe we should hear from Schoolhouse. Come on school. Let's hear from East. How badly do you want to win? So now I believe they're already all on the stage. There's North House singing Ain't No Mountain High Enough, directed by Alice Lindsay. So I'd like her to come to the stage and enjoy. Good luck, guys.
Arts performing Cecilia. Please put your hands together for Lara Wantling and Connor Bartel. Good luck, guys. So before we get into Wields Unison quickly, we just want to give a really, really big thank you to all the music staff who are helping all the students come on and off and arranging everything for us. So. Woo! 
And as you can see, Wilde is now on the stage. They're singing Pompeii. And this is directed by Lily Allmark and Sammy Lee, who I'd now like to join us. Good luck. Have fun.
House performing Never Going to Give You Up. And please put your hands together as I welcome onto the stage their director, Carlotta Puyani. Good luck, guys. <laughs>
Thank you. So now we have the final act of the evening, and I want everyone to be dancing for this one. We have East with I'm Walking on Sunshine, directed by Jessica Smith, Anita Sawa, Josie Whiskard, and Miyuka Rodrigo. So everyone, come up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, two minutes. We're going to be very quick, and then we will have the final award ceremony. How exciting. Two minutes.
führen. Okay, sorry that took a bit longer. It's an incredibly difficult job to adjudicate this evening, oh, isn't it? it certainly is. Over to you, Rosie. Over to me already? Yes, yes, yes. Goodness, I haven't warmed them up yet. I mean, another spectacular category. Um, at this point, Florian, I'm wondering if I should ask the driver to turn the engine on so I can make a quick escape before I get lynched. Just an idea. Anyway, here we are. Wonderful. Did you, do you call this the school shout? Am I correct? It's sometimes known. School shout. Well, it was absolutely fantastic and really exhilarating. I absolutely loved it. So, we started that wonderful school shout with West. <laughs> And they're Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi, and it was directed by Alexandra Hack and Heather Trevelyan. Um, <laughs> for a massed choir, I thought this was really, po really polished. Um, I've put here, in the world of pop, and I won't tell you my, um, my Paul Weller story here, but I know you'd love to hear it. Um, this really had the wow factor. Really fantastic that halfway through this song, you, you, you managed to find a beautiful piano um, dynamic, and that really gave it a fantastic contrast. I've put here, happy, 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 you captured the spirit. Well done, fantastic. <laughs> And then we went on to North. <laughs> and that was Ain't No Mountain High Enough, directed by Alice Lindsay, Scott Davey, and Sashi Patel. Um, I thought for this one, really good balance between the kit uh, and the choir at the start. Super direction from the front, Alice. I thought this choir had a really unified, warm sound. Uh, loved the mountains on sticks, art department. Did they do that or did the children actually do it? Oh, marvellous, marvellous. Um, and uh, I love the fact that I got the centre of attention at the end, which is marvellous. Thank you very much for acknowledging me. Well done. And then we went on to South with Cecilia, and this was directed by Lara. <laughs> Lara Wantling and Connor Bartel. I thought this was captivating from the outset, from the second it started. I loved um, the broken hearts, really super. Diction was clear and it really moved along. Um, and I absolutely loved the jazz hands at the end. Well done. <laughs> and then we moved on to Wield. with Pompeii. Uh, this was directed by Lily Almark, but I did notice it wasn't on the programme. I did see Caitlin and Amy as well helping out with that direction. Well done, fantastic. And not forgetting Sammy Lee directing from the piano. Um, just love the contrasting sections of this song. Again, that you captured the spirit, it was so happy. 
Um, I particularly liked it when the instruments dropped out at the end. That was really effective, really effective. So well done. Thank you very much. And then we moved on to school. Every border in the school. <laughs> Loved this. I'm calling them wristlets. Wristlets. Is that what they are? Bracelets? Funky bands? Uh, that's it. Now the name is wristlets. Um, Love this. Uh, I really like the mix of the vocals here. Um, and there were some really strong leaders in this choir. I watched you very, very closely. Um, two chaps at the front who were absolutely committed throughout. And I just thought this was absolutely wonderful. There was a real warmth of spirit here. Well done, school. And then last but not least, East. I keep saying, I love it, I love it, I love it, but I do, I do love this particular song. And uh, it was directed by Jessica Smith and Anissa Sawa, Josie Whiskard, and Mayuka Rodrigo. Loved that the horns uh, really, really super. When you weren't uh, playing your instruments, you were singing, and that was amazing to watch. Um, really, really flexible. Well done. Um, there was lots about this that I really, really enjoyed, and I looked, and every single member of the choir was singing, and this was a big choir. So really impressive. You really did have a, a unified spirit here. Lovely contrast in that quiet section. Having that, re it really does make a difference. Um, it rocked, and I thought your directors were really fab. <laughs> so, the results for the school shout. Um, we have joint positions. In fourth position, we have joint, we have West and Weald with 17 points. I know it's getting exciting. So in joint third position with 18 points, we have School and South. In second place with 19 points, it's North. They've got the calculators out. The winner of the school shout category this year with 20 points is East. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Excellent. Uh, we're going to invite now. Excuse me. Thank you. We're going to invite the headmaster to the stage now for our presentation ceremony. So up you come, sir. Sorry. 
So the first award is for the part song component. And that was, of course, won by South, directed by Rosie Parrish. Okay, next up, the ensemble, of course, won by West and Rachel Tezzi. And the unison won by East. Okay, before we do the individual, uh, sorry, the overall victory trophy, there are three specialist. Uh, categories that we have to award and Rosie and I have been looking for these throughout the evening. The first of which is for musical direction and in Rosie's adjudication she commented on this, the fabulous conducting but also throughout the whole process the fabulous direction of Joanna Burgess. <laughs> The next one is the Instrumentalist Award, and you, you heard in the adjudications just how many individual uh, instrumentalists were picked out, and there could have been so many more. Rosie was constantly asking me, who's that, who's that, who's that? But there was one um, trumpet player that really stood out for both of us. Uh, absolutely remarkable lead trumpet playing there from Ore Fascist in Sousa. Now, all of the arrangements tonight were fabulous, but in the seven years that I've been involved with this competition as a member of staff, there's never once been a student arrangement where I haven't had to change a single note. Um, and this arrangement was written by somebody not even in the upper sixth, and actually in the fifth form, or in year 11. Uh, from South House, the remarkable Alex Lockyer. So, have the scores updated? We'll just go straight to the top. The overall victor of House Music 2021 is East House! Okay, thank you very much. I'm now going to hand over to our headmaster for some closing remarks. Wow, folks, that was incredible. Two years ago, I was in my uh, third week as headmaster of Brentwood School, uh, and I said, I remember it very clearly, I said that in 25 or 26 years of teaching, I don't think I'd experienced as, as good a house music competition as that. Who knew what was about to uh, confront us uh, just a few months later?
Um, and I don't think it's an exaggeration, um, and I, will, I won't spare Mr. Cooper and the music department's blushes to say that uh, one of the uh, pieces of joy, we haven't had much joy in the last couple of years, have we, as a, as a, as a world, uh, and one of the pieces of joy that, that we've had in this school has been music. Um, and it, from the get-go... From the very beginning of the very first lockdown, we had the creation of Virtual Music Land, and there are so many people who have been on this stage this evening uh, who were the stars of that. And just like tonight, uh, with the enormous support from the music department, uh, from the family of the music department, should I say, um, underneath it and underpinning it, uh, we had so much student leadership and student input into Virtual Music Land, uh, and that's one of the beauties of this evening as well. As Mr. Cooper has said, it's almost all done by the students, for the students. And um, I was, uh, had privilege enough to, uh, to have a, 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 an afternoon with the music department in Harrogate on their tour. And one of the things that we commented on, and I was just talking to uh, Mr. McClintock, one of our governors this evening, one of the things that was evident uh, tonight was how our youngest musicians really aspire to be like and to look up to our oldest musicians because they know that in a few years, that will be them. And there were a couple of moments tonight where uh, people who were on this stage two years ago, when they were in the first year, were two years older, and they were helping some of our new year sevens who've only been in the school for less than three weeks. And that is the essence for me of what makes this such a special night. So um, I just want to say a huge thank you um, to uh, our incredible music department, before you clap, uh, and they're not just the teachers, of course, uh, our tech team, uh, Miss Broom, uh, everyone, they are a big family and they are um, one of the leading lights of this wonderful school. So thank you to all of our music department. A big round of applause. <laughs> I, um, one of, and, and there are so many things about the music department that are brilliant. One of the things that, that um, we are so excited about is our new partnership with uh, Guildhall School of Music and Drama. And it was a real pleasure last year to get that off the ground, despite lockdown and everything and all the challenges that that brought us. Um, so uh, I said to Rosie, uh, just before she came on stage, I'm so pleased I didn't have her job tonight. Uh, because that was so difficult to do, uh, but you did it with uh, panache, with kindness, with style, and with sass, I think. Um, so I'd just like to say uh, many, many thanks to Rosie, and we have a very small token of appreciation for your time this evening. Thank you very much to our adjudicator. <laughs> Uh, I'd also like to uh, thank two people tonight uh, who uh, have had the courage to stand up in front of all of you um, and to lead us through this, uh, this evening's uh, entertainment. And they've done it with aplomb. So I'd like to uh, congratulation, uh, like to thank, should I say, uh, Abby and Annabelle for the terrific job they did this evening. And of course, uh, last but not least, no, no, hang on, penultimately, sorry, I haven't thanked the house staff yet. The house staff who tried to steal house music from the music department and were thwarted in their dastardly plans, uh, but nonetheless have worked tirelessly uh, over the last uh, uh, three, uh, three weeks, less than three weeks. Um, you can see uh, from their reaction when the students go onto the stage and come off the stage how much it means to our house staff. It's one of, a, uh, one of the strongest features of our school is our house system. You can see how much it means to our students. So a big shout out to all of the house staff. Well done. And uh, can I just remind Mr. McCann, school starts at half past eight tomorrow morning, okay? <laughs> um, and it, 
all it left, uh, left for me to do is to, is to say the biggest thank you of all um, to our students. Uh, as I, I'll, start, I'll finish where I started, which is to say that one of the best bits of this evening is that it is a student-led uh, piece, uh, and they've done it in such a, a short space of time. Uh, well done to those who uh, did the signs. The signs are always a big highlight. Uh, well done to you. Well done to the people who conducted, directed, arranged, performed, and a huge well done to our Year 7 students. Um, whichever primary school they, they went to, it was a lot smaller than this. And they've come into this school, uh, they've been here less than three weeks, and they all got up on this stage in front of all of you, and they sang their hearts out. Uh, and I'd like to say a huge congratulations, a very proud headmaster tonight, to all of our wonderful students. Well done, thank you very much, have a lovely night. Have a good evening, guys.